All right, two high school girls just say they wanted to show their school spirit by wearing body paint and bikini tops to their homecoming game. Administrators said you got to leave, but they let body painted boys stay. A double standard, we ask? Let's ask the experts from Orlando, Florida. It's First Amendment attorney Mark J. Rendaza. Good morning to you, Mark. Good morning. And join us here in our studio is sports and entertainment lawyer Ryan Smith. Good morning to you, Ryan. Good morning. All right, uh, Mark, let's start with you. You see a problem? I do see a problem. Uh, first of all, these girls have a First Amendment right to express themselves, and that's what they were doing in this situation. Mm -hmm. Even though it was a school event, and I know everybody knows the recent Bong Hits for Jesus case seems to suggest that kids don't have constitutional rights at school anymore, but that's not really true. They've got the right to express themselves. They were doing so in, an in, in a not in an indecent manner. They were doing so dressed in a way that... I mean, you'll find people at the shopping mall right. in Florida dressed more scantily clad than this. Absolutely. And so, uh, Mark, are you saying since the girls were dressed like this, they should not have been thrown out if they kept the boys who were also equally body painted in red and blue, if they let the boys stay? Exactly. I mean, why is it okay to let right. a, a guy walk around with his body painted? All now, right. the girls, it's not like they weren't covered up. They were wearing cargo shorts and yep. bikini tops. Gotcha. It, All right. Let's have Ryan you know. weigh in. Well, there's nothing wrong with body painting per se, but if you're saying, hey, let's have the boys stand around shirtless, then why not have the girls stand around shirtless? I'm not saying you're saying that, but there are limits to the rights here. It's not that they don't have any First Amendment rights. It's a question of what's appropriate. This is a context where you have families at games, where you have young mm -hmm. children, and you don't want to go to these games and see women in bikinis. At least a lot of families feel that way. So it's really more about a context and what's appropriate in these circumstances. Mark, what, what, if the, what if the girls would have been wearing the bikini bottoms and the boys would have shown up in, in athletic supporters? <laughs> Look, that's not what happened, and no, I, I that, that's I a understand. whole different story. <laughs> I could see, I could see somebody saying, you know, they might have been dressed a little bit too scantily for a football game right. if they were standing there in thongs and pasties. Right. But, you know, they were standing there in cargo shorts and bikini tops. All right. Okay. And, and I don't know why they even threw them out. You know, they okay. said that some phantom person complained. Sure. But you know, I, I, I don't really see that as a credible, credible story. Okay. Now, Ryan, Mark yeah. makes a good point. It is. Florida. I've seen people wearing stuff like that at the mall. I see it on the street mm -hmm. down in Florida. I wouldn't be surprised to see kids show up on certain days to high school wearing bikini tops. But it's still families and even to high schools or two games. Talk to a lot of families down in Florida. I lived in Florida and you talk to a lot of families down in Florida and they don't want to see this. They go to a game on a Thursday right, or a right, Friday night. Right. They just want to enjoy the sports. And that's, you know, you saw a lot of this backlash with T.O. and what happened sure. with the NFL in terms of that Desperate Housewives thing. This is what people are saying a lot of times to sports now. They don't want their sports turned into bikinis right. and things like that. They just want to see their sports. So Mark, what's going to happen? Uh, probably nothing. You know, the, the majority of people, I, I've seen a lot of polls that have said people support the girls overwhelmingly. All the girls have asked for is a refund of their $5 ticket fee and seems an apology. Uh, yeah, it does, but, uh, you know, this seems like uh, an administration that went a little overboard and All was right. being a little petty, and that's not the kind of person who apologizes. All right. Uh, it'll probably go away, but I, but I think that we should all learn a very valuable First Amendment lesson from this event. Okay. Well, listen, they got some team spirit down there. That's all I got to say. Mark uh, J. Randaza and Ryan Smith, we thank you both for joining us live. Thank you. All right. Straight thank ahead you. on Fox and Friends for the